What's going on YouTube? Pyro TVX here. Today we'll be taking a quick look at uh, Gears of War's newest update, Operation 4, the Gears of War 5 series. They brought back old Dom Santiago, so I can't wait to see what skins we get to play with. Let's go! This is Operation 4 Brothers in Arms with fan favorites Dominic Santiago, Paddock, plus four more characters, three maps, including the all-new reactor, and a whole lot more. Operation 4 is loaded with big changes. We've added an all-new rank system. Now, why your rank moves up or down will be clear. But as your rank rises, the ante goes up. With every rank match costing points to enter, the higher your rank, the more Gears points are on the line. Don't perform, lose points. Have you got what it takes to make it to master? We're listening, Gears fans. Now progressing through the tour of duty gives you even more. Our new earnable currency, Gears Coins, is your path to unlocking nearly everything in the game. Yup, even store items. And for those dedicated players that complete the tour early, keep leveling up to earn extra Gears coins. The stakes just got even higher. Welcome to Operation 4 Brothers in Arms. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so uh, Dom's back. Well, seems like we got a little bit more than just Dom. We got a new uh, form of currency, new ranking systems. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Let's see what else we got. I'm... Oh, so we... Do we have Paddock for free? Like... Without doing anything? Seems so. Huh. I, I, I guess I will take his burnt and crispy ass. I mean, I, I guess he's... Yeah. Alright, let's just jump in here real quick and just take a look at see what skins we got. Uh, I don't have most of these, so uh, I'm just going to take a quick look. Okay. Matter of fact, let's look at the uh, bundle. The bundle should tell us what we get on this new operations uh, update. Alright, so we get Dom Santiago, Garrison Pato, UIR Soldier, Jinbot, Locust Grenader, Karen! Bounded by Blood Weapon Skin, 100 Iron, I think we get a few more things, but I, I'll let you guys see the rest for yourself. I don't want to take too too much away. Now, I don't want to digress, but as I scroll through all these uh, subcategories, I know I'm not the only one out there that wishes, at least is curious to know, what would have happened if Dom didn't die in that explosion. I'm just curious. I'm really curious to know where that storyline would have went. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know if they can even integrate it into this current storyline. I mean, technically, we did not see him die. We did not see a dead body. At least I didn't. I didn't. I mean, if anyone else seen it, Please, comment. Comment below. Inform me, because I did not see a body. And for the fact that I didn't see a body, bring Dom all the way back. I think that's what we need. I think Dom, in this new setting, will set shit right. 
That's what Dom does. Alright. Well, ladies and gents, Power Maniacs, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it right here. Please do remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you stay informed. A well informed viewer is a good viewer. Alright. And always, until next time. <laughs>